Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Criss Cross and welcome to How To Final Fantasy, the series where we dive deep into the books and learn how to get the most out of our Final Fantasy experience. Today we're learning how to get the very best start to Final Fantasy VIII, so let's get right into it. For the first 20 minutes or so, the game really encourages you to explore every corner of the garden just to familiarize yourself with the surroundings. Uh, this is also a great time to pick up a few items and cards that you otherwise won't be able to get for a little while, as one of the early missions sends you away from this location until Disc 2 starts. The first thing we want to do is talk to the man in the hallway by the elevator. He'll give you your first 7 cards and get you started on your triple triad journey. Next up, we can ride the elevator down and head to the library, which is the first corridor when you head to the right from the directory. You can also use the directory itself to quick travel anywhere in the garden, so keep that in mind. Once you've made it to the library, make your way to the second bookshelf and examine by pressing X on your PlayStation or A on Xbox, depending on what you've set it as, uh, and keep examining until a squall reaches in to grab a book called The Occult Fan. Now this is one of four magazines that you can collect in the game that gives you clues about obtaining a certain guardian force that you will not want to miss. So with the seven cards and a cult fan obtained, you can make your way to the front gate to meet with Quistus, who will accompany you to the fire cabin. Now this is a good time to check your GF's abilities and set them to learn useful things. For example, set Quizzicoddle to learn card and Shiva to learn strength junction. It's also the time when you must remember to junction your GF. Quistus will give you a tutorial of this uh, if you're unsure on the way to do it, so pay attention to that tutorial there. And once all your GFs are set, make your way to the beach and fight the Fisticolon monsters there until they are learned. They're basically the sand fish things, you know, they're really weird. Basically fight those, each battle will give you 6 AP and it's the best way to level up your GFs abilities from this point of the game. Once Quizzicoddle learns card, make sure to set him to learn card mod, which is one of, if not the most useful ability in the game. And after that, Thunder Magic Refine. Once Shiva learns Strength Junction, have her learn Ice Magic Refine. And once these abilities are learned for both GFs, you can start setting them to learn anything you personally desire, as these are the only real abilities you'll need for most of Disc 1. So now that these abilities are learned, we can start putting them to use. Starting with Shiva's Ice Magic Refine, we can turn the fish fins that we obtain from the Fisticolons on the beach. Each battle drops at least one or so, I'm pretty sure, from memory. Uh, and these will give each character 100 waters and is a great early boost to our stats when we junction it. Set it as Squall Strength and see the extra damage you dish out. Now as a completely optional step, you can fight Glacial Eyes if you hug the mountain behind the garden. And if you use the card ability in battle, you actually have a chance to obtain a Jumbo Cactua card, which will almost make it impossible for you to lose a game this early on. And also drawing 100 of each magic from each of these encounters is a great idea as well, but not, again, 100% necessary. Now with Squall's strength stat hitting for 2 to 300 damage per hit, you can make your way through to the fire cabin and fight Ifrit. You'll gain him as a GF, as well as obtain his card. And at this point, I normally junction Squall with Ifrit and Quizzicoddle, and I normally junction Quistus with Shiva. That way, both characters are able to junction magic to their strength stat, making them both hit relatively hard, uh, which is always good. So once all that's done, make your way back out of the fire cabin, fighting or running from random encounters, whichever you prefer, and head down to the town, the Balam town, and challenge the Queen of Cards, but don't play her. Keep challenging her until the trade rule becomes all, um, and just to make sure it has worked, go to the train conductor just behind her and challenge him and if the trade rule comes up as all, that means the rule has spread and that's what we want. So once that's done, head back to garden. So once you make it back, Quistus will congratulate you and leave you to do as you please. So basically, uh, it's triple triad time, baby. Now you can head to the directory in the main hall and wait until you see a young boy wearing blue who runs from the left side of the screen to the right. You challenge him to the card game and play him until you obtain the mini mod card. It's a level 8 GF card, it's very useful uh, and it will help you to get the rest of these cards that we need at this point in the game. Now if you've followed this video step for step, your card deck will contain Ifrit, mini mod, jumbo cactar and two other cards of your choosing. Uh, and with this deck we can now head to the back of the cafeteria and challenge the guy in the back to play a game of the cards. This guy on the screen right here. And the card we want from him is actually Quistus's card. The first level 10 character card that we can obtain. 
He also has a lot of other good cards, such as Marlboros and Alnoils that we can collect too. Uh, so make sure you do go ahead and do that as well. So now you've obtained the Quistus card, we have all the rare cards that we can collect at this point. So it's time to grind for some not so rare cards that will actually help boost our stats to crazy heights. Head to the gatekeeper shown on the screen uh, and challenge him until you have around 15 Abyss Worm cards. It will take a while, but trust me, it's worth it. Now using Quizzicodal's card mod ability, you can refine these Abyss Worms into Windmills. And then using Quizzicodal's Thunder Magic Refine ability, you can refine those Windmills into Tornadoes. Dish out 100 Tornadoes for each character, junction them to your strength, and the whole first disc will be a breeze. There's so much more you can do at this point in the game, but I'm going to have to save that for another video entirely. With these steps I've given you, you are well and truly set to demolish this game and absolutely enjoy the story without having to worry too much about grinding. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, if you have anything you want me to dive into in terms of Final Fantasy content that you don't absolutely understand, this series is all for that, so leave that down in the comments below. If you want to see me play these Final Fantasy games live, uh, head down to the description and click the link below to my Twitch stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I believe the, there'll be a stream schedule on that link as well, so you can check if I ever change it. Uh, but for now, I'm doing three days a week as well as these YouTube videos, so I hope you do appreciate that. And again, any questions you have, leave them in the description. I'll do my best. I might even make a video on that specific topic. But yeah, that's all from me. My name's been Criss Cross. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you in the next YouTube video.